Okay, boys and girls, welcome. My name is Mike Kelly, AnimatorsForum.com. I'm a little bit verklempt because I took I played basic. I played basic. I played basic. I played uh, tennis this morning and took uh, some some pain medication to keep me. So I might be a little out of this. But what I'm going to do today is talk about uh, layers and clothing and um, bringing items in individually or as an outfit. Now this is an outfit here. If you see what I have here, we have the Genesis female. And we have a T-shirt, a top, a skirt, and hair. Okay, so I'm bringing this outfit into uh, Character Creator. And when you're bringing an outfit, if you're not bringing the avatar itself, I'm not bringing a particular character, you always want to choose basic. It's much faster. If you choose advanced, it's going to try to bring the textures in for that character and the actual stuff. And we don't really want that. We don't want the textures for that character. We don't care. Well, you know, that's not a particular character. It's just the basic. So now as it brings this up here, these are the items it's going to bring in. The hair, the skirt, the top, and the t-shirt. And you notice it identifies all those as cloth. Well, it misidentified the hair. This should actually be hair. You can change it here. You can also change it once you bring it in by reweighting it. But it's a little easier to just go ahead and indicate its hair here. And these are very important. These are the layers it's going to assign to the clothing. So the t-shirt will be the base layer. The top will be the second layer. And the skirt will be the third layer. And we're going to see in a moment why that's important. So I'm going to bring that in. The layers control not only the order in which things are put in, but how you bring in other items. I always recommend bringing in entire outfits all as one piece, uh, like we do here, and then you can save out the individual pieces if you think you need them. But if you want to apply the whole outfit, it's real simple to apply the whole outfit. So we're going in here, and it's loading in all these items, hopefully fairly soon. <laughs> it's not going to take too long. Uh, okay, and there we go, and I'm loading the character course here. So here's all the items. When we go into the scene, we can see those items. There they all are character and then the, the different items here so you can turn off the different items one by one see that so you can see her bottomless notice she doesn't have any underwear on that's going to be kind of important i'm going to show you something in a second so uh so if i have this skirt selected here if i go to content and go to hit the save button it's not going to save just the skirt it's going to save all the cloth materials and any accessories to it, it won't save the hair it's kind of weird it doesn't save the hair as a, as an item but why, why is it only going to why is it going to save the whole thing? That's because we're in the project settings. Now the same thing is true in the character settings. If we go here and we go to plus, it's going to save all the clothing. It does, even if you're in the the base one where they're all naked, it's still going to save all the clothing. That's just the way it is because that's these things control where it's saved. And I've already done that once. I, I think I put it in the clothing folder. I created it and saved it as down here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Yeah, maybe I didn't. Did I? I thought I did. Oh, maybe I saved it under the uh, base to show you that it did work that way. And now I didn't save it there. I'm not sure where I, where I saved this. So I'm going to save this. Uh, okay, well, we're going to save it. We're going to save it in the uh, clothes thing. We'll just call this... Uh, 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 I thought for sure I did save this. We'll call it outfit. I did save it already because outfit's already there. All right, well, we'll just leave it as avatar. Somewhere in here, I just didn't scroll down far enough to, to see where it is. Oh, there it is, outfit. Okay, so it saves all the items, and you can prove that by simply going to your base, loading the naked character, and then clicking on outfit, and it will. But what if you wanted to save just the skirt? Well, for that, you have to go to the clothing fold, the clothing item selection, and, and then if I hit here, it will save the skirt under whatever folder I happen to be located at. And notice this is all under custom. If you're under the template, you can't save the items there. It'll still save them as custom. So if, as a matter of fact, if I go, for example, to underwear, where am I saving? I have to see what I'm doing here. Uh, shirts, pants, skirts, there we go. Go to skirts. If I hit the plus button, remember I'm in template, skirts. I hit the plus button and it immediately switches over to custom and puts it in the skirts under custom. So that's just the way it does it. It just, uh, just works that way, but it will save it that's just the skirt. And how do I know that's just the skirt? Well, if I go up here and I go to a new project, I'm gonna my new project default is male because I use mostly male characters. So now if I if I click on the dungarees, it's only gonna load that skirt in for that. If I went into uh, and on that character. Now if I went into uh, back here to the project and clicked on this this clothing thing that has the entire outfit, then I can replace the costume, which is going to keep the same avatar. It's not going to load the female in, and it's going to replace all the all the items back there. So that's the difference is you have to know where you are here to do this. And you notice the hair disappears. 
The hair doesn't get saved when you do an alpha. It doesn't even get saved when you do a project. So how do you get the hair to save? Well, you have to go to the hair thing, which is here, and to the hair. And again, you have to... Uh, and notice I don't get the option to save because I haven't clicked on any hair. So it knows that this stuff isn't hair, and it won't allow me to save it in the hair folder. Uh, I could wait this at hair and make it save there, but that would be really weird. So the thing I wanted to show you, though, is... So, uh, so, that, so you've seen that. So there's two items here. We've got this... Well, this guy here, <laughs> this guy who's wearing this female outfit, uh, I want to put some underwear on him because it's kind of weird, but maybe he's going to lift his legs up and underwear is going to, you know, be seen or something. He might, you know, or we might somehow have a camera shot where, you know, crotch shot or something. So I want to get some underwear on him. Okay, so we go to clothing and I go to underwear and I go to, let's see something. Actually, I'm going to go to the... Uh, the template, because <laughs> bikini bottom. There we go, bikini bottom tiger. He looks like a guy that would wear a bikini bottom tiger. Okay, so now he's got underwear underneath there. See, bikini bottom tiger. Okay, but what if I if I say you know he also has bikini bottom tiger, but he's one of those guys that wears you know suspenders and a belt. He also needs boxers on underneath on top of the bikini bottom, but underneath this thing here, underneath the skirt. So I click on the boxers, and now we go to the scene. And you'll notice that he's got all of those things loaded in here. Bikini bottom, uh, dungaree skirt, and, and set. But he lost the top. you notice the dungaree top disappeared? Why did the top disappear? If I go back and I undo that, you'll take a look at this again. There's the top. When I loaded in the bikini bottom, the, these, I'm sorry, boxers, the top disappeared. Well, why is that? That's because if we go in here to conform, and we go down here to cloth layer settings you'll see that the dungaree's top is got a layer of two. It's marked as two, okay? Remember that, it's marked as two. Now, I'm gonna load in the boxers. We're gonna go to, again, conform, and go to the cloth layer settings. And the boxers also have a layer of two, okay? So you can only have one piece, one item that, ha that has the same layer setting. So how do I, how do I get in his boxer, I'm going to go back and undo this again. So how do I get those boxers in but keep this top? Well, it's, it's simple, really. You go to conform, you go down here, cloth layer settings, and then we change this layer setting for this top number. So we go here. Instead of being two, we still want it on top of the, of the shirt, but we'll make it now, let's see, let's make it four, okay? So make it four. Still fine there. So now if I go to the bikini boxer bottoms, now they load in, but we didn't lose the top. Because now, if we look at the layer settings, you'll see we have one is the t-shirt, so it's underneath everything. Two are the boxers, so they're underneath everything but the t-shirt. And then three is the dungaree uh, skirt, so it's on top of those things. And four is the top here, and the bikini bottom is on the top. Now, that's actually not really good. If we, <laughs> if we run collision and the bikini bottom is on the top, it's going to attempt to try to, uh, to get it to, to look like it's on top. So it, it might not be good. This, we might have to rearrange these numbering systems. But I, I mostly wanted you to get familiar with why some items... Yes, yeah, see, now it's on top there. So now, so we really don't want it that way. We want to kind of move that down to uh, maybe, let's see, under the boxers like that. So now they've reordered the numbering automatically here. So now if we run collision again, now it'll, it'll fix things in the right way. But that's... How you, so you can renumber things here either by dragging or dropping, or you can change the numbers here to load in other items. But that's the reason that some of your items will disappear when you're, when you're trying to save and load out. And there actually is a fairly, uh, what do I want to say, there's a, there's a convention on how these are saved. So in general, underwear is saved as one and two, and then you know shirts are saved as three and four, skirts are five and six. They try to make it logical but you're still gonna run into times where you're gonna get conflicts and items will disappear. So that's how you handle that. And now you know how to save them out individually by having them selected properly and then go to the proper place to save them. So if I was gonna save hair, I have to be in the hair thing to save it if I had hair on here. Same for shoes. If shoes are selected, you have to go to the shoes part in order to get this plus sign to save them. Um, I think that's about it. And when I save the whole outfit, you save the whole outfit under this uh, avatar. I like the avatar instead of the project, uh, but either way you can do it. So that's 
Hopefully that makes sense to you. And then if you do that, so then you can load in this whole project and replace the con Remember again, if I say load avatar, it'll load in everything here, including, including hair. But if I load in replace costume, it'll replace everything uh, on this same avatar. Okay, so now we have male Marvel. <laughs> he looks a little, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so that's it, folks. Hopefully this all helps. And uh, if you have any other questions, post them in the comments below or on the forum, and I'll see you around.